shark has been hunted, caught, and killed. A deadly shark killed. attack in Australia. One beach, two attack, nine sharks flying out of the surfboard. Yeah, well, across New South Wales, there's been around 16 shark attacks in the last 18 months. And we've really noticed the downturn in the patrons that come to the beaches. We've tried to implement Phantom Force to help with our shark surveillance because it is such a key topic at the moment. I think it's critically important that humans and sharks live in harmony. I think it's entirely possible. The quick and easy response of going out and killing and culling sharks uh, isn't effective and it's been demonstrated on a number of occasions that it doesn't have an impact upon the risk of sharks to, to people. But the other side of it is that sharks are incredibly important to the marine environment and the health of the marine environment. So we don't predominantly have a lot of rescue helicopters doing surveillance across our beaches. Generally if we see a shark it's when it's right in near the swimmers and it causes a bit of a panic. We have to get everyone out of the water. Having the drones, it just gives us that aerial view. We can penetrate straight down into the water. Once our drone pilot determines that there is a shark, we will radio the patrol, advise them that we, we do believe it's uh, an aggressive shark. Can I get you up here ASAP, mate? We've got a large shark on the southern edge. With one of the patrol members working with a drone pilot, we can coordinate the boats and the jet skis to kind of scare the shark back out to sea. Sound the alarm and get everybody out of the water. In the past, we could close the beach for half an hour and we didn't even know if the shark had gone. It could have still been there. Good point, me, thank you. But with the Phantom Ford, we now have the ability to guarantee that that shark has left the area. I guess I feel a bit safer in the sense that if, if they can't see a shark, then it's most likely not there and there's no point worrying about it. Any help that you can get when it comes to water safety is a, a great thing. For people that come from overseas, they often don't understand the dangers along the coastline in Australia. Most of the drowning deaths we have in Australia are due to rip currents. Flat rock in the distance over there, easily accessible for rock fishermen, so it's a very popular spot. But unfortunately, when a rogue wave comes, they can quite easily get washed off. There was an incident three years ago where Five people from the one family all drowned. They got washed off the rocks and our rescue divers found them in a group within 20 metres of each other. So it's absolutely tragic. The Phantom 4s are ideal for what we do because they're so quick. We can be on site and then have it airborne within under two minutes. It just makes it so much easier and safer for us to negotiate around this rugged coastline, find the people in trouble and then determine how we're going to get them out. Like most Australian kids that grow up on the coast, you know, I had a love for the beach from a young age and my passion for surf life saving kind of grew from there. Once you've performed a rescue and, or and you've done your first resus and brought someone back, um, it's, it's a feeling you never forget and that keeps you in the movement for a long time. <laughs>